Hello, welcome to Beginner's Guide to Rudiments of Music. In this tutorial, we will be looking at Rudiments of Music or Theory of Music. So let's pop in. We are going to consider the following aspects in today's tutorial. Definition of music. Two, sound. Three, sources of sound. And four, uses of music and the impacts of music on human life. I'm glad you're still with me. So what is music? Wow, that's beautiful. Music is an organized sound. Oh, we said music is the combination of organized sound in an artistic manner, in a way or manner that is pleasant to the ear of the listener. Sound is the main source of music. Sound is the ingredient for music. For sound to be regarded as music, it must be organized, regular, and definite. When a sound is not organized, it is said to be noisy, having the following characteristics. One, two, organized. All right. So let's consider sound. Sound is the vibration of air which is heard when it is produced. Or we say the sound is the sensation of the brain which depends on our sense of hearing. It is also a sensation produced by objects through striking, plugging, blowing, and pulling. Human hey guys, voice this is, is the primary source of sound. Therefore, human being can produce sound by singing, Let's consider sources of sound. The source of sound include animals, wind, stream, river, birds, musical instruments. We have two main classification of sources of sound, the natural source and the artificial source. Natural source has to do with the human voice, animals, a baby crying, wind, river, and birds etc. While the artificial cells are the ones are sound that are produced by artificial means using electronic medias like the radio, the television, and of course a musical instrument. So let's look at the ending part of our objective, which has to do with 
uses of music and the impacts of music on human life. Music is used for the following purposes. Number one, music is used for religious purpose. Two, music is used for social functions like wedding ceremony, chief dancing title. Number three, it serves as a medium of communication. Four, it is used for advertisement of a product. Five, it is used for therapeutic cure, that is, to heal the sick. Six, it is used as an encouragement to in sporting activity a class of music known as aerobic music. Seven, it serves as a source of income to human life. And eight, it serves as an entertainment too. The following are the musical themes that we are going to consider in today's lesson. One, P, which stands for piano, meaning soft. Next is PP, stands for piano simo, meaning very soft. Three, MP, which stands for mezzo piano and the meaning is moderately served. Number four, F, forte, loud. Can you repeat after me? Piano, soft. Pianissimo, very soft. Mezzo piano, moderately soft, forte, loud. Congratulations.